Magandang, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Okay, magpapiling na natin ang ating mga stars. Andito po ako, ako po ang inyong mga host for uh, this evening. Tommy, you please greet everybody first. Hello po everyone. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting the film. Uh, we're very thankful for everything and all the support. I love you guys. Thank you, Tommy. Miss Lisa Lorena. Oops, the microphones. Hello. Ayan. Good evening. Thank you for coming. Happy and Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I love it. Microphone up. Uh, please check. Joros! Ayan. Next sign language. Uh, Joros, please uh, greet everybody. Meron na bang microphone? Tumagana na ba? Ayan. Ayan. Okay. <laughs> Hello, good evening sa inyo lahat and happy Thanksgiving today. Uh, ito ang pa-thank you namin sa inyo. Thank you, Joros. Beautiful tonight, Catherine Bernardo! Hi everyone, good evening. Good evening po sa inyo lahat. Sa mga press... Thank you. Thank you sa mga press na pumunta ngayon to support the movie and MJ. What's up? Thank you, Kat. Sir Richard Gomez! Hello, good evening everybody. Uh, happy Thanksgiving and uh, thank you for being here this evening. Magandang gabi sa inyo Thank you. Thank you. And of course, the megastar, Ms. Sharon Ganeda! Hi everybody! Thank you uh, to the Sharonians, all the fans of Catherine, of Tommy, of everybody. At sa mga kaibigan, syempre natin sa press who've been there for us from the very beginning pa. Salamat for being here tonight. Thank you, Ate Shawi. Okay, let's start the, the Q&A. Uh, ako siguro yung magkatanong ng first question. Ano? Finally, we're here. Mapapanood na natin, Ate Shawi, Richard, everybody, itong three words to forever. How was it doing this film? Especially na parang na-lock in kayo in uh, Ormoc for a couple of days or a week. Uh, well, everybody stayed in Ormoc total of almost three weeks. Kasi two weeks of the sila, then buhay, then pumalay ko din. Uh, we had a wonderful time shooting the movie. Uh, ganda nung naging bonding namin doon. Because we're working on a beautiful script. Uh, we're working with, uh, with beautiful people. And uh, uh, it, it's, it's such a pleasure to, to work with Sharon again, to work with Kathleen again, to work with everybody. Uh, I can say that, uh, like what other actors would say, napakaganda pelikul nito pero truly maganda talaga siya. Yeah, it's a family movie and it, it's always been a tradition of Star Cinema every year meron silang family movie movie na nilalabas. Kat, how was it working with Ate Shawi and Kuya Richard in this movie? Super fun and ang smooth lang lahat sa shooting kasi nakatulong na lock din kami kasi nakapag-bond lahat doon every day. Um, I love hearing um, Tita Sharon's stories, also Tita Richard. So I'm very happy na mas nakalala ko sila while you're doing this movie. And excited ako makita niyo kung gaano kaganda yung Ormoc. Kasi when we went there, yun yung first time ko and hindi ko in-expect na ganoon, hindi pa natin siya Pag may pupunta tayo, hindi siya kasama sa pupunta ang natin. Parang hindi mo alam magagawin mo doon. But hopefully, pag nakita niyo itong movie na to, you would want to go there and visit the place because it's very beautiful at ang babait ng tao. But working with Ate Shawi and Kira Richard, were you intimidated? Of course, I was shy nung <laughs> simula. So, okay. parang alam mo naman mahihayain ako pa. <laughs> um, at tinulungan, tinulungan nila ako and hindi, hindi naging madali. Ay, hindi nila ako pinahirapan na mag-adjust sa new environment, iba yung mga katrabaho. And I was worthy ko na ginayad nila ako throughout the movie po. Ate Shawi, ikaw naman. Yes. How was it working with, again, with Richard? And of course, first time with Catherine? Unahin ko si Catherine kasi Kathleen fan ako, alam nila din hmm. yun. Pero hindi ko sila kilala. Ah. So, ang mga gusto ko sila, saka si Liz. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Pero, parehas pa rin. Kathleen, okay. Really? Because si Daniel, mas kilala ko kesa kay Catherine. Um, so, nung sinabi nila direct, Alam mo, nakakatawa yung marinig mo sa buong, sa halos lahat ng kilala mo sa Star Cinema at sa ABS-CBN na napakabait ng dalawang yan. Napakababait katrabaho. And you don't hear that about everybody. So, uh, totoo nga. <laughs> totoo nga. And, um, I, you know, I just want to keep repeating that Catherine is a good actress. She's a, wow. ang dami na pinigay 
nagbigay sa akin na hindi ko magagawa yung ginawa ko kung wala siya. Mm -hmm. Tapos, before I go to Richard, ang um, tuwang-tuwa ako, I just have to say, I worked with my original mommy in dear heart. Again, my tita Lisa. Yes, reunited yeah. also. Super, yeah. my Kali. And my tita Freddie Webb, whom I've known since I was little. Because a counselor siya ng daddy ko when daddy was the mayor. Tapos, first time ko makasama si Joros na... Oh, i-record mo ko Joros. <laughs> Kasi five years from now, paulit niya siya sa akin. Um, one of the wittiest, smartest, Ah, uh, hindi ko pa na record. Ah, okay. <laughs> kasi ganyan, pwede natin yung sinabi mo ng isang gabi. Ganyan. <laughs> kasi si Joros contributed so much to the pagiging happy ng movie na ito. Right. Ah, uh, palagay ko po yung mga artista, yung siguro yung delivery. Pero si Joros... He was the happy pill of the movie. Yeah. He's my happy. I always have a happy, di ba, if you know me. Uh, so si happy ko yan eh. Um, napakabuting asawa, napakabuting ama. Walang bukang bibig kundi asawa niya. Pag may lechon, asawa niya. <laughs> Namimiss asawa niya. So, um, pag sinahin ko Joros, ang guwapo mo pala kahit diretso yung buhok mo kasi kulot yung buhok. Uh, uulitin mo yan natin mga five years from now. I'll publish it. <laughs> very witty, very smart. Also right. a director, so he knew exactly what to do. Suggest ng suggest. Ayan, siya nahirapan. <laughs> Lahat ng sinuggest niya kasi maganda. So pinagawa ni yung direct. Ngayon, si Tommy naman, nung una ko nakilala, at parang ano, sabi ko, Francisco, itong mga batang ko, naku, ano pa? <laughs> Baka, ano, baka may ere, napakabait na bata. Na parang true. napakasamangan ng lupo kasi, how old are you, anak? Tommy, how old are you? How old are you, son? 24. Napakatanda na niya para ampunin ko. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Oo, kaya... And of kaya, course, don't forget... Kanya talaga buhay. Richard? Yeah, ngayon, mapunta tayo dito sa... <laughs> Hindi ko na rin maapok. Huwag na i-report. No, after 15 years kasi, ang daming nangyari kasi we we grew up together since our our um, late teens, early 20s. Mm -hmm. So the second decade of our lives, parang from there onwards. So tapos after, in 15 years, we weren't really in touch. Okay. So, siyempre kanya-kanya buhay na ay diba, nag-asawa ko, I went to the States, mag-uwi, ang dami na nangyayon, nagka-anak-anak, nag-asawa na rin siya, ang dami na, before you know what, 20 years married siya, ako 22. Right. Uh, parang, hindi ko akalain magiging mayor siya na, sabi ko, di ba kasama mo lang si Joey at si John noon? <laughs> yung wala kang ginawa, kundi puro kalakohan. <laughs> no, but I've always known, um, no, because we were also together for a long time. Um, when we were younger. So, alam ko naman pag committed siya sa isang bagay na passionate about siya. Like all his sports. You should see all his, you should see, well, I saw his trophies then. I don't know how many trophies he has now. He commits himself and gives it 100%. Right. Saan. So, I should have expected that when he became mayor of Armo. Because when he lost the first time around, so I call him, feeling ko dinaya ka. So, in three years, mm -hmm. I don't think ganito kaganda o ma-approve ni Direk at ang Star Cinema ang Ormok for our shooting of this movie kung hindi naging mayor si Richard for the past three short years pa lang. Wow. Because in those three years, I was there in the SOCA, the state of the city address. Ano, honestly, mangyak-ngyak ako sa pride sa kanya because it's parang um, a lot of places in Ormoc that used to be parang the drug center pala of a kala mo peaceful but a lot of the places now are drug free it's beautiful, it's clean, ang bait ng tao yung pinagsyutingan pa namin medyo half an hour from the city ang lamig, tas ang linis ng hangin now there's, it's so progressive which is so to me well, it would have been unbelievable if it wasn't Richard. A testament it's, to it's what a he testament did. testament to the kind of... of um, it's the richest city in Eastern Visayas now, I have to tell you. Mm -hmm. My God, in three short years. Congratulations, dear Richard. I never used to hear about her mom until he married her. Because, I, diba, I was in Boston. Where's your mom? 
Ano yun? Ano yung takloban, di ba? So now, um, the airport, mga ka-land ka na doon, daytime lang, they're working on it para pwede na magkaroon ng sila ng regular flights. Progressive. I am, I'm, I'm bold. I'm bold over, I am, I'm sorry, I'm blown away and I, I am, I am just so filled with pride. Wow. Because it's my future. Yes. And he did this in three years and I'm so touched and I want to cry because he really gave us so much, so many lectures. <laughs> All right, we'll get to more stories in a bit. Pasaltain lang natin si Joros, Tommy, and Miss Lisa sa inyong experience doing this movie. And Manay Edel Ramos will be helping me out sa ating Q&A tonight. Joros, I want to hear your story. Um, Masay na enjoy ka ba dito? Ay, syempre naman. Nakita ko mga IG stories mo eh. <laughs> Non-stop. Hindi, ang maganda kasi dito, talagang nakapag-bond kami for two weeks. Yung wow, first two weeks two weeks. Uh, compared kapag siyempre dito nag-shoot sa Manila, uuwi ng bahay, kasi meron pang mga ibang pinagkakabalahan. Yes. Doon nakafocus na kami sa isa't isa, so mas nakilala namin ang bawat isa. And ako, sasabihin ko lang sa inyo na uh, siyempre si Kat, nakasama ko na yan uh, for the longest time. At talagang kaibigan ko yan, mahal mahal ko yan. And siyempre, love na love ko si Tita. Ka na talaga ine-educate na kami kung ilang feet na yung water na <laughs> nasa speedboat kami. Tommy, Tommy is such a good guy. So, eto seryosa. Hindi si Tommy magaling na, magaling na artista to ha, natural. Sobrang natural siya. Super natural. Mas sisikat pa to si Tommy. Ako ha. Ah. Parang gusto ko nga gumawa ng pelikula sa bandang sagad eh. Ay. Na ano? <laughs> Nakoy, may, so, may inside joke na. <laughs> may private joke na sila. Eh, baby, baby. Saan ko yan si Tom? <laughs> Pero gusto ko lang sabihin talaga uh, kay Ate Shawi and kay Kuyo Goma, alam na lahat na sobrang gagaling nilang artista at alam din na lahat na ang babae sila. Pero iba pala yung kapag first hand mong ma-experience yun sa kanila kumpara sa naririnig mo. Sobrang uh, I feel blessed na maging part ng moving to na kahit nag-uusap sila ngayon, hindi nila ako naririnig. Pero gusto ko lang ipaalam sa inyo. Ay, diba? Ay, ano ba mo? I-record ko to. Ah, yun. De, gusto ko lang ipaalam sa inyo na sobrang blessed ako na nakilala kayo at na katrabaho kayo. Wow. Actually, i-request ko siya sa next movie ko. Ibang production yun eh. Parang wala pa tumatawag sa kanya. <laughs> like God. Well, uh, Ma-monitor ma namin niya pag matawagan si Joros na kapasama. Tommy, you wanna hear your story? How was it working with this cast? Um, so, hmm, coming into the movie, I was very nervous and very shy. And uh, I didn't know if I could um, meet the standards of my other co-actors. But um, they were so helpful and so um, understanding and patient with me. And I, I couldn't have been more blessed to be a part of this film. Dito ba, Tommy, nagtatagalog ka or English din talaga yung language ng character mo? Uh, so, my character is from New York City, so it's uh, ah. English speaker, yes. New York. There's, there's some Tagalog lines, but... Okay. Um, so, I guess one by one, Kat is an amazing actress, as we all know, but uh, it's until I was working with her that I really understood how amazing she was. It's, um, yeah, amazing. Tita Sharon, uh, one of the kindest people I've ever met. Very funny, and uh, she treated me like a son throughout the whole. Yeah, <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm Ian Tommy. You yeah. were saying? Well, I was saying, Tita Sharon is amazing. She's treating me like a son, and I'm blessed for this opportunity. Um, uh, Tito Richard is very inspiring because he is non-stop working. If, he, if he's not working on the film, he's working uh, on, as a mayor, and he's back and forth doing things left and right. And I, I very few moments I've seen him rest, even when we were all sick. So that's, it's, it's amazing. I really wanted to be like Tito Richard after seeing him uh, and getting to know him during this film. 
Uh, Joe Ross is one of the funniest, like Peter Sheriff, one of the funniest, wittiest, most uh, driven people I think I've ever met. Um, he's definitely going to go places big, and I hope when you become a big director, for the most joking. Um, <laughs> Let's talk about it. Um, but yeah, no, every the whole cast. Tita Lisa is amazing. She's so sweet. Um, she keeps feeding me soda and snacks throughout the whole trip, and um, just acting wise. She's uh, very natural and very uh, amazing. Um, Tito Freddy as well, sadly, isn't here today, but um, I love Tito Freddy. The, uh, the time we did spend together, we worked out every day, and um, wow. like his son as well. So, yeah, everyone here is amazing. And I just heard, uh, Mommy, the audition for this role. Wow, congratulations.